Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessed morning to you. What's going on this beautiful Sunday morning? As you're getting ready to go out to your house of worship, I just got a little something I want I want to leave with you. <clears throat> I think I'm going to just create, it's just going to be a series. Whenever God gives me something, I'm going to just add it along with this on this journey. <clears throat> so, we're always wanting to make changes in our life and do things different, be different, feel different, be healthy, be more financially secure. But a lot of times we we tend to procrastinate or hold off on doing what we what we desire to do because we say, well, I don't have the education. I don't have I, I don't have everything that I need to do what it is that. I desire to do or I feel that I'm supposed to be doing. God has already equipped you with every single thing that you're going to need for the journey. And I don't mean that it's always inside of you internally, but everything you do, everything you need to do, everything you need to accomplish, God has already provided them. He's got them in place. He's got them in position. All we have to do is take that first step, raise our hand that first time, make that first move, and then listen to that, not the big loud voice, but that small still voice when it tells you to move left or move right or stand still or step back or walk forward or speak boldly. Whatever it is, God will guide you through the entire process if we just take time and listen to what he is guiding us and telling us to do. A lot of times we will look at our physical circumstances and think because of our physical circumstances that we cannot achieve or we cannot do or be a person of influence, a person of change. A lot of times your current situation is exactly what is needed to be an agent of change, to be a person of change. Um. You never know who's watching your life. You never know who is in the background, back in the back of the room, just peeping you. Just 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 seeing, you know, they see the whole room and they watching everybody's reaction to whatever it is that's going on. But for some reason, God draws them, draws their eyes to you to see how you respond to a situation, how you respond when circumstances come up in your, and arise in your life. Yeah, they have probably have other mentors and other, but it's just God just said it's something about that one. Watch that one. Watch watch my child over there. <coughs> mm, sorry y'all. Early morning. Be like that. Mm. got to clean it out got to clean it out got to let it go but it is it's something about you it's the way that you move the way that you do things the way you talk the way you think that God has allowed them to notice you pay attention to you see exactly what it is you're doing so when God says to leave a job or God says to to let a relationship or friendship or association go, there's a purpose for it. And as much as it may may hurt you or you may really be like, God, I I really care about this person. I I really want to see the best for them. God will tell you, if you really want to see the best for them, let me handle them and you do what I need you to do. And if if in in due season you all are, are, are more equipped I will bring you back together. I know there are people that have been separated from, you know, friends, loved ones, family for years. But when they came back, they wasn't the same person they was when when they first got together, when they first met one another. And and the relationships and the friendships and they and they worked out so much better. They were so much healthier because there wasn't all that toxicity, toxic toxicity that was there prior. So as God is instructing you, God is guiding you, God is telling you how to move and what to do, don't second guess yourself in doubt. I can say personally for myself, 
when I started this journey at the beginning of the year where I was going to cut cut all these different things because man I love bacon I love ba- oh I love bacon I love bacon I love bacon I ain't I, I, I'd be I'd be alive if I said you know I don't I don't, I don't miss none of that. Yeah, I miss bacon. I miss bacon. I, I miss bacon. I do. I, bacon was the, bacon was the stuff, y'all. Bacon was the stuff. Hold on. I like the hamburger. I like a hamburger was all right with me. I, I didn't. Cow ain't they had nothing done nothing wrong to me. But hey, God said you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Um, but I feel so much different. I feel so much better. Um, I don't see the changes, and I'm learning. I really realize and understand that I'm not supposed to be the one to see the changes first. Um, I'll see the changes later. But a lot of my friends and family, they they've been looking, and they like, uh, oh, you looking a little different. You you got a little different. Little something else going on with you. What's what's up? And I'm telling them what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And it's so it's it's so cute because <clears throat> people that don't know me, they think that my current condition has always been my condition. They think, okay, well he just he just been big all his life. No, baby, I ain't been big all my life. For a long time, I was I was I was I was a hot I was a hot boy. I was out here running doing and clowning and showing out <clears throat> I think about a lot of the things that I, I was privy to um, how I was how I used to move uh, stayed busy all the time stayed in the middle of something uh, when I had a car I didn't know, I didn't know how to I didn't know I did not know how to sit at home especially when I had a car so man I'm, I'm just telling you right now when this transformation is over with, y'all gonna love to see me one or two ways. See me either coming in or going out. If God blesses me the way that he says he's gonna bless me to where I'll be able to move and travel and do some things, I'm gonna be sending out video postcards or wherever I'm at. I'm just it just it just that's just it. There are so many of us that have so much to offer life and the world but because we think we're not equipped we think we don't have everything we need we think we gotta wait for this that or the other um, if God ain't told you to wait make preparations do the things you, you, you desire to do if you want to get healthy cause this is, this is the one I'm on right now is getting my physical and my mental and my spiritual getting all of them healthy you got to purge some stuff, uh, some feelings about folks, uh, some situations that may have happened years ago. Search inside yourself to and, and clear all of that out. The sooner you clear that out, and it may not be easy to do. I'm not saying it's it's a it's a just an overnight thing and then poof you feel better. No, <clears throat> you're gonna have to do some work. You have to do some crying. You do have to do some hollering, some yelling, some screaming, some kicking some fighting for some of these things to get up out of you and to get off of you you have to take a, a true internal inventory of yourself and your feelings and your thoughts and all of these things pay attention to when certain things happen or certain people around how you feel what you think and, and all of that because I used to I used to think that didn't nobody like me I used to think that people was always plotting on me and and, and, and I never really fully trusted anybody. That's why I, n- I never really gave my whole story. Um, I keep my story to those that, you know, God shows me. Because I know everybody's not equipped and everybody's not ready for the story. Um, when I tell certain people certain things that I've spe- experienced and done, they look at me like, really? You don't look... There is no particular look for anybody that's gone through anything. There is no one look. There is no one comment. There is no bad. There's nothing. There, I've met people that have been functioning drug addicts. And when I mean functioning, they was holding down an eight-hour, seven-day-a-week, good-paying job. But they was on drugs. Everybody that's on drugs is not in the streets, homeless, broke, 
and dirty and nasty looking. Some of them are polished, suit, tie, $100,000 house job. They got they, everything material that we think means success. They got it. But they also got a monkey. And that monkey is, is, is a well-fed monkey because they've got to keep up appearances. And, and that goes for a lot of us. A lot of us, we got stuff going on. And instead of calling out our issues, our, our situations, we try to stay polished. We try to live up to an image that we stop living up to an image. The only person we need to live up, the image we need to live up to is God's image. These other images and these other things that we do for uh, cool points or whatever it is, I, uh, I was always I was accused while I was married that I was a people pleaser. Um, and I probably was, I probably was, but I was a people, I wanted to be a people pleaser because I, I, I wanted, you know, I wanted folks to, you know, to be happy to be, you know, I wasn't the kind that just kissed your butt and did whatever, but I, I wanted, I wanted folks to see, be happy, be, you know, have some joy in their life, be, you know, laugh sometimes, be silly. Um, I guess I say my people pleasing was totally different. But it still was people pleasing. It was it was still catering to somebody else instead of catering to yourself first. Um, but that comes with growth and age and understanding who you really are. I wonder. Let's see. But uh, yeah, I got I got stuff going on this morning. How y'all doing? Um, man, I just I just want y'all to just keep take that first step. Take that first move. God has, he's well equipped you. He's so well equipped you. Um, continue to speak your truth, whatever that truth is at whatever moment. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all. It will, it will, it will free you up from so much stuff that holds you back. I want you to have a blessed Sunday. Enjoy service. Enjoy the day itself. This is a, this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm a holler at y'all. Love you. Peace.